we built Guitar Hero MMMMDCCLX, which is 4716 Roman numerals, <laughs> um, because we wanted to make our own Guitar Hero that can play any song that we want to. So we accomplished this by using MIDI files, which are ways to represent songs with numbers by turning on and off the notes and keeping track of the frequencies. Um, so we have a Python script that converts the MIDI files into a format that our pick can read. Um, so essentially it takes the note numbers and it figures out which five notes should be displayed on the screen and it figures out which note should be played through DDS. Um, so we are playing the notes on the speaker through the DAC using direct digital synthesis. So it has a frequency table in the code where it knows which frequencies it should be playing for different note numbers. Um, and then it's set up so that the note starts falling and then once it's at the bottom of the screen, the DDS turns on and it starts playing uh, the note that should be coming out of the speakers. Do you want to talk about cool. it? Yeah, so we have our nice Guitar Hero controller here. It's, it's as close to full size as you can get. Uh, it's made out of four layers of cardboard that, are, that have been laser cut. Um, we've got our buttons here, pretty standard push button switches from uh, Sparkphone, I believe. And then we've got a nice little toggle switch here that's got two limit switches wired back to back so that you could strum up and down and get a nice firm click out of it. So this part is 3D printed uh, and it's just sat in front of or into the cardboard here. Got it. Um, so yeah, we'll do a quick little demo right. of uh, we'll playing play it out. Sweet Child of Mine. So you have the menu, you can scroll through using the toggle and then use the green and red buttons to uh, go back and forth. So we have four songs on here currently. Play Sweet Child on medium difficulty. So it doesn't play every note, but it plays um, every fourth note. It displays every fourth note, but it's playing every yeah, note. So it, the, the sound comes through every note, but um, you only have to play every fourth note. And you have to get a note by strumming and pressing the button at the same time. Got it. Which okay. you can see by every the time you hit a note, you get another point. And the and the the bottom row of uh, circles light up with the correct color when yeah, you press. Yeah, so the, we get all the notes. Yeah, got it. So it kind of sounds like every song is played by Owl City, <laughs> um, but it's pretty recognizable and you can tell what song it is. So you stripped out you stripped out some of the timing information too. Yeah. So you have only the note number. So some of the some of the timing relationships in the song are gone. Yeah. And you could have you could have kept those. Mm -hmm. So we set the timing for the songs based on how long we yield in each thread. Um, so at the moment, every note is simply 200 milliseconds apart. So you get five notes per second. Just because we started with "Sweet Child of Mine," and uh, five notes per second is about the right. Uh, timing for you to be able to hear and recognize the intro part of the mm -hmm. song um, but the other three songs are also on 200 millisecond timing but we could have changed that so that they're more recognizable as well okay so that's a future version yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay DLC, yeah. <laughs> Or, or use or use uh, Carpless Strong to make a more yeah. guitar-like sound, for mm -hmm. instance, right? Yeah. So there's, there's lots of possibilities for 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 going forward if yeah. you if you have lots of cycles, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. No problem.